fancy children in my house. It's faint breaths, a chisel path through my peephole adjacent the front patio where all thoughts hint at risking it all to leave safe havens of rising oak skin walls. It's got a lot louder, bolder, more articulate with its intentions. And I don't know how much longer I can hold them off. There's been way too many duels ending with drawn blood for sanity's sake. It still growls, making man shopping pen until speech becomes his plaything. It's getting louder. Less faint. A broader steps. I load my poems into the automatic weapon on my bedstand and empty the blank pages of its Bible into the floor out of paranoia hoping not to risk them reaching the top floor. Then I realized I should have let them guess the room I'm in. The foundation had zero value in its 3,000 square foot perimeter. No equity, no question marks, or property taxes. Nothing to tie me to the accomplices to this place. I was merely the talking. Now it makes more sense. That smoke has heated plea, has taken over, has made its next course of action. Steps become thumps. A door screeches open. And I close my eyes. And squeeze until my soul is finished.